Hey, this is Venture Satanis doing another drive-by video on my way to work. And this video is about Gen Con and the man who was assaulted, Jeremy Hambly, uh, from The Quartering on YouTube. And he was assaulted outside of the convention proper uh, during Gen Con at uh, the Tin Roof Bar. I've watched a number of videos, which it's a fact to me. A lot of people maybe want to brush it under the rug or think like, oh, wait and see. Maybe it's a hoax or something like that. Uh, but there's enough evidence out there uh, readily available. Yeah, you didn't stop, idiot. Um... Yeah, it's it's a fact. Uh, Matt Loader, fantastic Matt, um, Kickstarter fraud, and uh, social justice warrior, uh, Nazi puncher. Um, yeah, he went off on Jeremy uh, just because he knew. Jeremy was there, he got tipped off by one of his friends, and I was wondering what was going through Matt's mind as he was processing this. He had to know that this could potentially ruin his career, or hobby, or, or whatever it is, uh, whatever the RPG industry is to him. Um, it could destroy him. And why, why would he do that? Why would he put himself at that much risk? And then, unfortunately, it hit me that it's probably because he thinks that it's okay. That Gen Con and the people that run that convention, the people that make up the gaming community, condone that kind of shit. Um, Gen Con was hushing it up banning people and blocking people from their Twitch feed or, or whatever social media thing they could get away and do that from. And that's not right at all. Because if this was some some woman or a homosexual man or you know a transgender cosplayer, someone like that getting possibly groped for a few seconds Oh my god, the uproar, the outrage. It would be, it would, it would seem like national news on all the forums, on all the blogs, the RPG news sites. Everybody would be up in arms. But because this guy was sucker punched and brutally attacked because maybe he's too far to the middle or too, too far to the right, uh, it's just okay. And then it's just open season for social justice warriors to come in and punch people that they don't agree with or that criticize Anita Sarkeesian or anything like that. That's totally fucked up. I'm not going to stand for that. If Gen Con doesn't get its act together, I'm never going again and going to tell people that I know and care about not to go, not to spend any money there. Um, you know, that's, it's beyond the pale. It's, this has to stop. Political violence is not the answer. That's just one step away from terrorism. Fucking terrorism. That's not the America I want, uh, or that I was born into. And I'm not a Trump supporter by any means. Um, I'm not all right but I'm also not a far-left uh, wacko. You know, I'm someone in the middle. And, uh, I don't know, Gen Con has to get its act together. Let's make Gen Con great again.